Hello, and welcome to a collaboration video between the Hardway Irvins and Little Irvin Farm. This video is a little different because it is a collaboration video between the two channels that we have. So it's pretty much the same for the Hardway Irvins, but this is an extra long video for Little Irvin Farm. This is a video of us building a new chicken run. We decided that our ladies needed a little bit more room when we weren't able to be around or when it wasn't safe for them to be out on their own. We're just digging post holes, putting the post in place, and kind of giving a rough idea of what we were gonna do. This is the posts and we painted them brown. So that's the old run and this is the area of the new run. We used some recycled paint from a local recycling place called Bring. It's just indoor-outdoor kind of mix, so it's going to be a nice area for them. This is those little ladies that it's all for. Uh, we have a few extras now and a couple that have uh, left us. We're just cutting the boards after we painted them. These are for the up and downs. And then we do end up cutting the ones that we lay on the ground and then eventually the ones that go overhead. I wish that we would have planned the post up and down a little bit better because we could have gotten the across the bottoms beams and across the top beams as one post. These are rounds that we got from a local sawmill. Um, they were really cheap, which does show in the quality of the wood, so we really had to try to pick and choose between which ones we thought were going to last the longest. That's why we ended up painting them too, because we're just hoping they'll last a little bit longer. For the longer sections on the top and on the bottom, we did have to kind of cut in and carriage bolt two pieces together. This is where we kind of wish we had planned better. Once we got the hang of this, it was kind of easy, so we just cut into two pieces of wood and used a carriage bolt to put them together. It would have been nice to have one piece of wood though. It would have been a lot easier and a lot less work. And it was super, super hot this first week that we did this, so it was excruciating outside. This is the carriage bolt that we used. We got better and better every time we did the carriage bolt cutting and putting it together. This is what that looks like. After we carriage bolted everything together, then we just affixed the brackets. They're specifically for round posts. Never get an Insta360 camera. This weird camera shot is because we had to try to shade the camera because it kept shutting off in the heat, even in the shade, so that's why it's covered by a chair. This is just another view of us cutting in the carriage bolt. We got better and better at this every time, and we've been lucky because we kind of have a hodgepodge of tools we've collected over the years that made it a little easier. So this is us finished with the up and downs and all of the baseboards bracketed to them. I think it looks pretty good. Everything felt secure, but it's even better once we get the top boards on. For the top boards, we cut everything a little bit longer than we needed. And we cut the ends at a 45 degree angle so everything could fit together. 
The only ones that we left flat were the middle. We mocked everything up and then once we were sure it was gonna fit, we did the drilling and the carriage bolts in the corner. We got pretty lucky because we didn't secure anything until we put all the boards together with the carriage bolts. So we were kind of just hoping that nothing would fall down and we got lucky. So we didn't order enough brackets the first time for the entire project up and down. And we were disappointed because they weren't the same. They didn't have any of the same ones. So they're different top and bottom. And we really like the ones on the bottom better than on the top. So we really wished we would have ordered all the brackets at the same time, but I guess you live and learn. So this is one side completed. And now we're on to side two with that same cutting the angles, doing the carriage bolts. But these, we have to put carriage bolts in the center and then we have to put carriage bolts on the side as well. Here is a close-up of us drilling the hole into the corner. And then we're putting this side on, so we're just kind of holding it up there, putting the carriage bolt in and hoping it doesn't fall down. Here's the finishing touches on the brackets for the last side. And now finally we are on to wrapping the hardware cloth. This is half inch hardware cloth galvanized around the bottom. So we just decided to use the roll and we thought that that would be easier. Once we get off of ground level, we do end up measuring and cutting. Now remember you need to have about six inches on the bottom that folds over just to make sure that nothing can dig under. We live in town so we don't have huge predators but you should always have that just in case. We borrowed my dad's staple gun with an air compressor and boy did that make a difference. So that's the first layer and then this is us measuring and cutting the second layer. We used 48 inch wide hardware cloth and we really had to try to make sure that we matched it up perfectly because it had to touch the top to staple it in and then it had to have enough overlap to connect the two pieces together. And then this is us using the last of a roll over the top. It was light enough now that we could do that, but it was way too heavy when the roll was brand new. I wish that we would have pulled the top a little bit tighter, but it was getting kind of hard to maneuver this stuff. And then we are putting in support side to side, especially on the side that's gonna have the roof, just to make sure that it's supportive enough to hold a roof once we decide what we're gonna do with it. We cut out a lot of boring filming towards the end, like connecting the wires and stuff. And if you wanna watch us build that door, it's a gate kit and we've got that um, on one of our other videos on Hardway Urbans, but this is it so far. I think it looks really good, it's really secure, and the ladies love the extra space. Once again, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.